Good morning, boys and girls. Well, today is the first virtual day of this year, and I thought I would send you a little video just to kind of get you going this morning and tell you what I expect over the uh, over the day. Uh, sorry, my cat is right in the middle of things. Here she is, so I thought I would show you. Say hi, Milo. Can you say hi? Okay, now let's hope that she does not get into things. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, I'm going to make myself uh, really small and put myself in the corner so that I can use my document camera to show you the assignment sheet and what I want you to do. So here goes. Okay, hold on a sec. All right. Now, here is the assignment sheet that I gave to you yesterday and sent home with you. So, um, up at the beginning, it says this virtual learning half week will mainly be spent reviewing skills we have already covered. So, we're not going to do our reading or our spelling tests that we would normally do. We'll do that next week. We'll continue with the same story that we have been working on, but we'll we'll work on that next week. And then we see here it says um, students may work on any highlighted skills in IXL if they want to as well. This is a good way to earn some last minute extra credit. I will look on Friday evening to see if anything extra was completed and put extra credit toward lower subject grades. Um, and an easy way to do this would be make sure that you finish skills that weren't uh, finished to 100%. And just um, any extra skills that you do that aren't uh, required for the week. Now, I already required several IXL skills um, and for the week. So if you do extra beyond that, then those are extra credit, okay? And make sure you do extra math this morning. So you might want to start out this morning by doing your morning work and then do extra math and then test on an AR book just as if you would do just as, just like what you would do in the classroom. And then um I also put on Seesaw um, just a short little picture book that I read, and you can listen to it and take an AR test on that as well. Um, on Wednesday, which is today, Language Arts, it says complete the nouns page front and back. Sorry, boys and girls, this cat is really getting annoying. And I can't really put her anywhere, so... You'll have to see me moving her around frequently. She's just learning to stay off of things. I mean, he's learning. Oof. My cat from before was a little girl, so I keep calling this little boy a little girl. Okay, so today you're going to work on this nouns page. Just remember a noun is a person, place, or thing, and they give you an example of a person like sister, place, home, and thing table um, and these are they're not asking for proper nouns or special persons places or things like teacher would be common and proper would be Mrs. Elbers because that would be a specific person or a special person that you would know exactly who I was talking about so it just says circle the noun in each pair so big wheels wheels would be what you would circle because that is a thing. So let me get this pen cap off. And big actually describes that, so that would be an adjective. And so you just go ahead and circle the nouns. Down here it says underline the noun or nouns in each sentence. So you're going to want to find the noun and underline it. Okay? Make sure underline, circle. Okay, 
and there's a back. Again, this is just nouns. Sorry, my cat's in the way again. It says up at the top, again, a noun is a person, place, or thing. They give you examples. And you are to underline the noun in the sentence, like my van is ready to go. Van. Is that a person, a place, or a thing? A thing. Okay. And so that's today's page for that. And then math, it says complete the two-digit um, page. So you're going to do this one. This is subtraction on this side. And remember the rule um, that we go by or the little saying that we say? So we take a look and we begin in the ones. And there's more on the floor. So go next door and get ten more. Cross out the six, make it a five. Cross out the two, make it a twelve. Twelve minus seven is five. Five minus one is four. And if you wanted to make sure and check to see if what you were doing is right, you could just add these two numbers, 17 and 45. And look at you got 62. But you can just do the subtracting. Okay? Then you're going to go to the back side of this, and you're going to simply add 8 plus 3 is 11. Put down the 1. Carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 1 more is 4. And do that particular page. Then it says Religion 12A. Religion page. Let's see if I have that religion page. Well, I thought I did. Well, you have a religion page in your packet, and I want you to do the front and the back. Um, so when you do 12A, just follow the directions and go ahead and do it. Um, that one I don't think is very difficult and is pretty easy to understand, so I'm going to um, I'm just gonna let you go with that since I can't seem to find it. And my cat dumped everything on the floor, so... Okay, <clears throat> so that's for today's work. Okay, don't forget to read your books. You have uh, five books or um, chapter books, so don't forget to read also for extra points, especially those that uh, need to have them by Friday. Um, I'm going to be uh, reading books and posting them just like I did on Seesaw, so go there, listen to it, take a test. I'm also going to... Um, read the rest of the Christmas pageant, the best Christmas pageant ever, excuse me, and that will be posted as well, okay? Um, I may put just a link where you have to click on like this link signal or this paper clip, and uh, when you go to Seesaw, I'll explain myself further, when you go to Seesaw, um, and I post something. Let me see if I can show you while I'm doing this. We don't need this anymore. Let me go. Okay. In Seesaw, this is your assignments again, okay? Then I'm going to move down. Oh, maybe that's not it. Let's do it. Click on Activities so you can see that. Okay. And I posted this, um, A Friend for Dragon Read Aloud. It's just a short one, and it says, Please listen to the story and take the AR test, and the number's right on there. So hopefully you can um, get to this, see it, and... And listen to the story. Now, when I click on this little uh, symbol over here, that's going to link you and take you to the story. Okay? 
Let's see if I can do that. And there it is. And then I think I have to click on it again for it to play. I will be reading A Friend for Dragon. And there you go. So, um, and that's recorded in YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, and so um, this recording of that book was in there. And you can listen to it and take a test. And I will do another one. I will do another one um, tomorrow. So, I hope that helped. If you have questions on anything, please do not hesitate to have your parents shoot me an email, okay? And I will answer any questions that you have. Um, if you need help going through something as well, please have your parents um, send me an email so that we can talk. I hope this helped you, boys and girls. Um, don't forget to listen to my books and uh, definitely listen to the chapter, the next chapter in the Christmas pageant. And by Friday, we will have read the whole entire Christmas pageant book. And you can take a test. Okay? So um, have a great day. I miss you. Bye.